Welcome to a new series on sensory technology. The last time, we look at inductive and capacitive sensor. The application of these sensor in a manufacturing environment was look at. Today we be looking at limit switch. The application of limit switch in manufacturing environment will be discussed. Stay tuned. Limit switch is an electromechanical device that is operated by a physical force. The applied force usually comes from the object that it is sensing. There are four different type of limit switch. This include roller lever limit switch, roller limit switch, lever limit switch and plunger limit switch. A limit switch is a switch that is operated when the leveler reaches a predetermined point. That is the material or object that is tracking will be used to activate the lever to a predetermined point. The device consists of a mechanical part and the electrical part. The mechanical part which is the roller lever will be used to activate the electrical switch. When activated, the configuration of the limit switch changes from open condition to close condition. And as such, 24 volt will flow from the feedback cable. In this case we are using a meter to monitor our feedback. Limit switch comes in different configurations. These are normally close configuration and normally open configuration. Now let look at what this configurations means. For normally open configuration. It mean the contact are opened. That is when the actuator have not been mechanically actuated. In this case. The feedback cable has zero voltage within. As soon as the lever is actuated mechanically. The configuration changes from open to close and there will be presence of voltage within the feedback cables. For normally close configuration, it means the contact are close by defaults. That is when the actuator have not been mechanically activated by the sensing object. The feedback cable is supplying a feedback voltage to the meter. But as soon the roller leveler is mechanical actuated, the configuration will change from close to open. And as such there will not be presence of voltage within the feedback cables. Overall, the type of limits which used depend on the machine designer. Special attention should be placed on the data sheet during replacement and installation. For the data sheets, a little research on Google can be of an help. Now let look at its application in a manufacturing environment. Limit switch can be found in robotic. That is to determine the height of an object. Object detection on a moving conveyor. The features of this switch comes with some drawback. For the contact to switch, it must make physical contact with the object that is sensing. There is room for wear and tear. This is as a result of the mechanical movements of the lever and tear from objects that comes in contacts with the lever. The switching speed is a function of the object movements. In the coming series, we will be looking at real proximity sensors. Applications of real proximity sensors in industrial settings. Hope you have learned something today. See you in the next series.